many, many Southern states had independent laws uh, that said no black man can hold a weapon. If your family lived in the South in the, 18, in the 1860s, you have an ancestor that fought in the war between the states. The war was about many, many things, slavery being just a slice of the pie. Uh, I think slavery was an abomination in biblical times and it was an abomination in 1860, but there's plenty of blood on everybody's hands. This is the Confederate battle flag that draped my grandfather's coffin in August 1934, the most misunderstood flag in the world. It's for real, I mean, it's there. It's, it, and it just wasn't something that someone made up. This is a original stuff. Black folks made all the implements of war, provided all the food stuff for General Lee's beleaguered army, stayed at home and protected those plantations while the men were away. I think there is a genuine scholarly interest in understanding the complex roles that freedom and slave blacks played in the Confederate war effort. And I don't care what the Yankees say, Black folk won't die for the Confederate States of America. Can I get an amen? amen. One reads anecdotally sometimes of, of uh, a slave picking up a musket in the heat of battle. These battles that killed 10 and 15 and 20,000 people at a time, they were bloodbaths, okay? There was no room for a guy with a platter over here serving. The idea, though, that these isolated instances somehow constitute evidence of, of black loyalty to the Confederacy is, is a, a, a modern political fabrication. Burn, rape, rob, innocent men, women, and children. I have no respect for Abraham Lincoln. They've turned that boy into a martyr, and that boy, he needs to be dug up right now and put in, on, on, on trial for the war crimes that he committed. I just want the story told, the whole story, the good, the bad, the indifferent.